hunting and fishing forecast is sponsored by Lafayette Shooters. Now, here's the live Doppler Storm Team, Chief Meteorologist Keith Morton. And a windy night out there. That's about the only thing you're going to hear outside weather-wise is I really don't expect any showers or storms across Acadiana. Most of that comes in during the day tomorrow. So here's what it looks like on live Doppler 10 Storm Track radar. Although I did find one storm down there near Cameron. If you look closely, you can see a lightning strike with that as it was moving off to the north. I don't see it now. Uh, but to right... Where is that storm? There it is right there. You can see it popped up a lightning strike there. Not expecting anything severe overnight tonight across Acadiana. Uh, most of that will be across northeastern Texas. Uh, several tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings uh, going on now. And a tornado moved over College Station, Texas, very close to uh, Texas A&M. And I don't know if there was any damage or not, but there was a tornado warning uh, with a storm that had a lot of rotation with it. But right now, just west of Shreveport, along the I-20 corridor up toward Tyler, a lot of this here will move into southwestern parts of Arkansas. Not a lot down in the south and the west, but we'll see stuff develop here tonight and make its way toward the state as we go through the day tomorrow. Look at all of those reports there across the hill country of Texas and up toward Dallas. Uh, wind damage reports, hail reports, uh, tornado reports. So, uh, so far, this has been an active storm system. And we see it back to the west here with an area of low pressure. There's the cold front. We should come through about mid-afternoon tomorrow. The warm front will lift north tonight, and that's going to bring in that unstable air. And uh, it really didn't feel that humid today. It was warm. Uh, but that more humid air will roll in tomorrow when you step outside tomorrow morning. It's going to feel more like late spring or early summer. Here's the risk, a level four. Now, we rarely see a risk that high across Acadiana. Usually once a year, every couple of years, and then surrounding that, a level three risk. And uh, the higher risk there runs from Lafayette up toward Jackson. So we're going to watch this closely. Um, everything in the atmosphere favors uh, the chance of tornadoes with instability and wind shear. But I will say, usually when we're playing, under a higher risk like this, we don't see a whole lot. A lot of that goes north of us. And some of the models show the supercell tracks moving north of us across the central parts of the state and in Mississippi. That is a good sign. So it doesn't mean that we're not going to see anything, but a lot of times with this type of setup, uh, we don't see the widespread severe weather. It's usually the lower end events uh, that <laughs> when we see uh, the severe weather, the ones where the risk is lower. Here's future track. You can see a line of storms. This is the latest model run. I haven't even seen this one yet. Uh, anywhere along this line, gusty winds possible, even some tornadoes embedded in that line. That will move to the east. Should be out of here as we go through 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. So the time frame, I would say 10 a.m. for the western parishes, uh, the middle heart part of Acadiana around uh, noon to 1 o'clock, eastern parts of Acadiana 2 to 3 o'clock. And we'll have to watch out for those storms that develop in front of the main line. Uh, those are what we call supercell storms that can develop, and those can produce tornadoes. Although the models really haven't shown any of those developing in front of the main line, then Wednesday morning, mid to upper 40s, much cooler. Should see a lot of sunshine on Wednesday, even into Thursday. You're going to love the seven day forecast once we get past tomorrow, 10 o'clock Wednesday night down in the lower 50s. Here's the HRRR model. It's a different high resolution model. And as you can see, it really weakens those storms as they move toward Acadiana. So that would be a good thing. And usually this is a fairly reliable model. And by 2 30, it has everything over toward Baton Rouge. And then we clear out as we go through tomorrow evening. But I do have a 100% chance of rain. I think all of us see rain tomorrow. Tornado parameter, it really does ramp up here as we head through about 1030 to noon. Uh, so that's one reason we'll probably be placed under tornado watches. Conditions will be favorable for tornadoes. Doesn't mean we're going to see tornadoes, but definitely favorable. And we need the rain, I think, one to two inches on average. Some isolated areas may see about three inches of rain. 72 now in Lafayette. It's very warm for this time of year. 40 Dodge City, Kansas, 25 cash for Wyoming. That cold air will come south as we head through the latter half of the week. And it's going to feel a little chilly at night, especially Wednesday and Thursday night. Breezy and mild tonight, 70 southeasterly winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Storms likely tomorrow, some severe southeasterly winds switching to the west-southwest at about 15 to 25. No bus stop forecast because most schools are not in session tomorrow because of the severe weather. 67 Wednesday, Thursday, 72. And we're looking at some, there's that seven day I was talking about, how nice it is once we get past tomorrow. Uh, it's like one of those tests, IQ tests. Which day stands out to you that uh, doesn't belong to the others? Tuesday. That's what Norbert would say.